Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Exponential 2018 in Denver, Colorado, and I'm talking to Andrew Saxton from Radio Hill. How you doing, Andrew? I'm doing great, Patrick. How are you? I'm doing good. And you're holding in your hand this vaguely sinister-looking object called the Drone Buster. What is this? This is an RF and GPS radio signal jammer for drones. So it basically keeps drones out of an area. It's an on-demand area denial tool. Amazing. Now, who is using this thing? So the U.S. military is using this today, as are a lot of militaries overseas and uh, some first responders overseas as well. Police forces, fire departments, emergency response units. So anybody who has unauthorized drones in their airspace, they're affecting their ability to complete their mission. I noticed you didn't mention people using it domestically in the U.S. Is that Can you not do that? It is currently illegal to use in the U.S. for civilian or commercial use, uh, but there is some actual, some shifting wins, if you will, in the industry as the demand for public safety use of this technology grows. I mean, there's a lot of concern out there of people using drones the wrong way, and part of helping people use them the right way is being able to enforce the rules and keep them using safely. Well, I, I'm certain a device like this, it, it frightens me a little bit, and it frightens a lot of other people watching the channel, I'm sure. But at the same time, somebody who's being responsible has got nothing to worry about. That's absolutely right. If you're using your drone in a responsible manner, if you're not flying it over military bases, you're never going to see one of these products. <laughs> good, good advice all the way around. So walk me through it. How does it actually work? So what it does is it sends an overwhelming RF and GPS signal to the drone, preventing it from connecting to either of those sources. So the drone loses its ability to, tell, to understand where it is geospatially, has no GPS signal, and it breaks the command and control link back to the controller and the video link as well. And so when faced with those two scenarios of the lost signal, the drone, based on how it's programmed, will do one of two things. It'll either initiate a controlled descent to the ground or it'll attempt to return to home. All right, and I must say, for something as technologically capable as this thing is, there are remarkably few knobs and switches on it. How does it, how do you actually work it? So we designed it to be as simple as possible. It's very point and shoot oriented. So the system does detection, and it'll give you a signal strength indicator and tell you what band it's detecting. And then all you have to do is pull this trigger to initiate jamming. That's it. I can get anybody using this in about five minutes. Pretty cool. And so you guys are already making these things and shipping these things, and they're already being used overseas. What's the feedback been? The feedback's been very good. This is definitely a, a capability that's been much needed in a lot of combat areas overseas, for a lot of security situations. So we are selling these in, in large quantity and full rate production, and people are using them in the field today. Now, I can't get one to use in my backyard, and neither can most of the people watching this video. But if I am a military, if I am an overseas police force, how do I get in touch with you to find out more? Contact us through RadioHill.com. All right, there you have it. So thanks very much, Andrew, for your time today. Always a pleasure, Patrick. Thanks for coming by. And from Exponential 2018 in Denver, Colorado, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Don't point it at the camera. We might lose video. <laughs>